glad to be back in there this week. I mean, I know it's been like seven months since we've seen you, so I mean, you have to be kind of getting that itch to want to be back in there, huh? Yeah, definitely. You know, just being on ice for such a long time, especially in the beginning of my career so early, you know, the last thing I wanted to do is sit and wait around for so long, but, you know, seven months, I hear that that's pretty, that's a pretty normal time around for a lot of people. What, uh, what was the feeling like needing to, I mean, you're in unfamiliar territory and now needing to bounce back from a, from a setback? Um, what was that feeling like, you know, in the immediate aftermath, and then what was the feeling like, you know, throughout training camp? It sucked, you know, it definitely sucked, but at the same time, it was like, you know, this is normal. It's normal in any other sport. If you're a competitor, you got to take the you got to take the weight of a loss and the weight of a win. You know, they're both the same thing. It's just easier to win, you know. But you know, losing it, if if anything, it just made me feel more like a fighter. Did uh, did you change anything up after that loss? I mean, did anything change in training camp, or was it just go about your business more of the same and that kind of that mentality that losses are probably going to happen, you know, throughout your career, and it's something you'll just have to work on. Yeah, it didn't change anything at all. If anything, I just kind of wanted to focus more on me as a fighter. Um, you know, a lot of things in that last fight, it's just things I couldn't have gotten, gotten around, you know. It was a five-rounder. It was something I've never been in before. You know, I felt like the other guy had a little bit more, more experience. You know, he's been doing it for five years. And, you know, he just showed up that day. So, you know, I just, so when I went back to my camp, you know, I was just like, man, it sucked to lose. But it was just like, whatever, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm just going to keep getting better because if I focus on that fight, it's not going to help me get better. It's just going to make me more paranoid. Because you mentioned the five rounds, did you feel like that if it was a three-round fight that things would have gone differently for you or that, that uh, you would have done anything different once the fight started? Um, I definitely would have fought different, you know, more with like a fire under my ass. But, you know, other than that, it was just like when I was thinking about five rounds, I was thinking like, man, I got 25 minutes to be in the cage. I better relax. I better kind of sit down and not be too excited and jump jump to my chances but you know it, it just if anything you know I, I i'm not a guy who makes excuses i lost that fight he was the better fighter that day and even if it was a three rounder maybe he would have been the better fighter that day all i understood was after that it was like all i want to do is get better did you, did you have a, a sense of i want to fight this guy again someday to prove that i can beat him is are you that type of a competitor, that type of an athlete that, that a loss to anybody is going to eat at you for forever? Um, yeah, it will. But yeah. at the same time, it's just like if, if the guy, if he's going to be around for a long time and he's somebody who's, who's, who's going to keep proving himself, yeah, I want to fight him. But, you know, if this, is, if this is one of those early losses, I'm not going to dog after somebody just because I lost to him, you know. Yeah, lost to him earlier in my career. If I see him again, I'll see him again. Talk to me a little bit about uh, Kitamoto, what he brings to the table. He's been around for a long time, obviously, but he's, he's new to Bellator now at this point. So when you got the, the call that that was the opponent, what did you think? Um, you know, he's a solid all-around fighter. He's a jiu-jitsu guy. He likes to do a lot of submissions uh, on the feet. He doesn't, he doesn't seem like the guy that does a lot of stand-up, but he still, he still has some threatening points there. But, you know, overall, I feel like he's a very solid fighter. I feel like he will be a good, he's a good guy for me to fight to finally test myself against. You know, I feel like this is definitely another step up for me. Are you a film guy? Do you watch film? I mean, uh, you yeah, look at I watch film. Stuff and, yeah. What did uh, you see from any of his past fights? And were you looking more at his UFC fights or were you looking at his last couple fights over in Japan? Um, I, I checked out some of the ones in Japan. Those seem to go to the ground a lot. Uh, in, the, in the UFC, you know, when he fought Neil Magny, the guy who was, he was on his feet a good deal. Um, you know, I, did, I just saw the same thing all around. You know, he's like kind of slow on the feet, but he has, he has some pretty decent shots that I still have to watch out for. He has some pretty good jiu-jitsu. But, you know, overall, I just feel like I'm going to be too much for him to handle. You know, I'm going to throw a lot of things at him, like wrestling-wise, just boxing-wise, striking-wise, and I want to show people that I'm getting better. I'm still improving. You, you mentioned, uh, you know, that he does seem to do well on the ground. Is this something that if, if you could keep it standing the whole time, you would? Or, or if the opportunity for takedown presents itself, you're going for it? I mean, like, it's like every, every MMA fighter, you know. If it's going good on the feet, why even take it to yeah. the ground? Because I feel like when you take it to the ground, you're just kind of expending a lot of energy. And I don't want to give him a chance, you know. And down there, obviously, his chances are down on the mat. You know, he has 20 submissions. So you don't go in the, in the ring with somebody with 20 submissions and then try to take them to the ground. It's like you want to keep it in the area where it's still in your favor. Sure. Given um, his level of experience, I guess, is this the kind of win that puts you right back into that 
into that title mix? I mean, I know you were in the title mix because of the fact that it was a tournament, mm -hmm. but because of because of being in the tournament, now you're going to be talking about it in the immediate future with a win, it seems like. I mean, is, is he the kind of name that puts you right back in the hunt? I feel like he is, you know. Um, but honestly, I feel like we'll know, too, when we, after the fight. Because I feel like it, it all depends, you know. I'm, I'm expecting to see one type of fighter, but when he, still, when he shows up there that night, I just, everybody's always different. It's not always not what you expect.